Hey everyone, we're back with another quick tutorial for Vote Chess because chess.com actually changed its layout right after I published the other video, so this is the new layout. So, as usual, we start off by going to chess.com, logging in, connect, clubs, and the Rochester Chess Club for USCF members. So, also a reminder, we're not going to have any stuff on here so that our Google Meet information will say private and then from here we go to vote chess over here in the corner and then as you can see we have first the amount of points we have and then we have the matches one and our rank of all the clubs uh, just so down here are challenges sent that's challenges that we've sent to other clubs that we haven't they haven't accepted yet completed vote chess so if we go in here we'll see all of our completed games, which right now is only seven. If we go in here, go back, we see all of our currently playing games. So now, as you can see, there's a difference here. So this board is kind of grayed out compared to this board over here. And the text is different. Over here it's red and over here it's gray. So if it's gray, it means that the other team is making their move. They're voting on their move. And if it's red, it means that we're going for our move. So what I recommend doing is making a new tab for each of these. So if I right click, open link in new tab, right click, open link in new tab. And I do that for every single one of these. I'm not going to do that for the purpose of this video. I'll do mine later. But yeah. So if I go in here and click on one of the tabs that I made, it's still loading. And as we can see, this layout is a lot different than the old one. So if I make my move, and I'll, make, I'll say an ID5 here because it's the best move. I'll confirm. I'll say my vote has been saved. I'll exit out. Here we have an analysis tool. So if I could make, say the other team made some moves, so D4, D6, whatever. Hit the exit button. Hit these buttons to go back and forth in the game. This will play the game. This will make it go back to the start. Draw, resign. And download it and then this is for sharing and then over here you can withdraw from it so you won't get notifications anymore down here you'll see a private chat a public chat so that means that both of the teams can see it archive so this is the moves and then the members and that'll be the members of our team who are actually playing now, this is me and we'll sort it by reading okay and then as we can see, it'll show a little arrow for what we voted for. And then it'll also say how many people voted for it, put it over here. And it'll give you like a nice little bar over here. Now if there's another move, it'll show up right here and it'll say the percentage will change, just percentage right here. And it'll show both of the moves and the bars will not be fully colored in, they'll just be partially because it has to represent one large bar. Let's try it again. So if we go over here, we make our move. It's the same, same idea here. It'll even give us our little opening over here, so we can click on that if we want to. And now one final note. So when we went back here, we saw that we had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Right? Seven vote chesses. Now we also had eight notifications over here, but that's because, you know, this is not necessary. Now over here, it looks like chess.com did give us all of our notifications, right? But not quite, because there's only four notifications for updates in 24-hour seeks in this club, but there are actually five, right? So that just goes to show that chess.com notifications for vote chess aren't always accurate. So you should probably check this every single day, because here's the thing. If I click on this vote chess, for example, 24 hours for each clock. So that means that a move will be in every day. So if you check vote chess for the same time every single day, you're guaranteed that a move will be made. Okay, uh, that's about it. Thanks for watching.